identified with drummers like a lot when I was younger. I always, um, my first kind of musical love was uh, Leonard Cohen. Um, often doesn't even have drums in his songs. Um, but yeah, my dad used to always play Leonard Cohen tapes in the car, and, and that really got into like lyrics and just the kind of yeah writing lyrics and, and listening to those guys. And then um, further on, like Smashing Pumpkins and kind of the grunge thing was right when I was sort of 12, 13. Really got into that. And Jimmy Chamberlain is an amazing drummer. He was probably the first guy I was like. Kind of like here's a drummer I know his name he plays amazing this is you know someone you can look up to and um, then later I started getting into bands like Radiohead and getting more into the kind of electronic side of things a lot of hip hop a lot of drum and bass and doing programming and stuff and, and that kind of took me away from playing drums acoustic drums for a while but um, then when they're in the, kind of like the two th early 2000s when bands like The Strokes and stuff started kind of getting popular, I really got into guitar music again and started playing the drums again and um, yeah, really kind of got excited about playing drums again now. Well, you used to only play with like a three single setup and the hats until uh, I found this bad boy and now I can't live without it. Um, next along, we've got the A Custom Projection Crash at 19. Um, again, I've kind of moved up in size. I used to use 16s and 17s, but now I've got an 18 and a 19. They match really well. I like the interval, um, and they're very simple. We're just kind of cutting through everything. Um, then we've got my favourite symbol of all. Uh, K Dark Ride, 22 inch. It's big. It sounds amazing with mallets. Got really good overtones, um, and it's just like a really kind of like dark rich sound. Um, that's definitely my favourite symbol. Um, and finishing it off on the left, so we've got the Master Sound Hi-Hats 14 inch. Pretty much the, the classic, everyone uses them, they sound fantastic um, and really hold everything together. Yeah, um, yeah. I've always played Zills and Cymbals, so I guess the first, the first kit that I bought second hand must have. I think it only had one Zildjian Cymbal, and the rest were like no-name brands. But um, I had one. Um, it was a Scimitar Bronze Zildjian, and then the next kit I got that was kind of like it always sounded good, but it was the only one with a brand on it. So I was like, well, I want to get a set of like all the same. <laughs> So um, I got another Scimitar Bronze and I had a Zildjian um, ride and they lasted me literally like 10 years, you know, and then we started playing in Temper Trap and I cracked one of them finally and, um, but by then I was just like a Zildjian guy. Um, so I, I went down to Billy Hyde, which is the drum shop in Melbourne and um, they had a deal going, you could like cut out, there was a coupon they had in this music magazine and um, you could get 50% off one single. Um, so I went in and I got my, my one symbol, um, which was the custom A projection crash, 16 inch, and then I got my friend to come in with a different coupon and get the 17, so I would have the matching set. Um, and he was kind of like, he didn't really know which one to get, I think he almost bought the wrong one, but uh, we were kind of like in the store together and I was like kind of secretly signaling, oh it's that one, it's that one. Um, so yeah, that, that was it, and um, yeah. Never play anything. Here to, you know, 18 months ago, we were still all working jobs on the side and, and kind of just um, trying to make ends meet and going off on tour and kind of, um, kind of coming back and having to work to pay your rent and all those sort of things. So I guess in the last 18 months, just being able to concentrate on this full time um, has been the biggest change. Um, you know, it's 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 really made a difference in our playing, like we can all spend, you can spend that time where you used to be selling shoes or whatever or making coffee, practicing your instruments and trying to write new songs and um, it's, I think it's just made a lot of difference to um, the energy that we can put into the show and, and just trying to make the show better.